Thank you very much for introduction. So my name is Hiyosuke Toto from NTT Secure Platform Laboratories Japan. So today I'd like to talk about cube attacks on non-black box polynomials based on division property. So this is a joint work with Takanori Isobe, Yonlin Hao, and Willy Mayu. Okay, so first I want to introduce as an overview of my talk. So our new technique is uh, an improvement from the cube attack. So cube attack was proposed by Jinu and Shamir at Euroclip 2009. So cube attack is a kind of higher order differential attack. So higher order differential attack is one of the most powerful and famous cryptanalysis technique for a block cipher. So when we attack block cipher using high order differential attack, we first prepare the set of uh, chosen plain text and uh, we evaluate uh, the sum of the corresponding cipher text. So if uh, in, in many cases, higher order differential attack uses higher order differential characteristics whose the sum of cipher text is always there. So when the block cipher is analyzed, we first prepare higher order differential characteristics, then we append key recovery after the characteristics. Then we guess uh, sub key last round is used and recover the cipher text from the uh, intermediate text and compute the sum and evaluate uh, the sum value is zero or not. So if the sum is uh, not non-zero, we know the guest round key is incorrect and we can reduce the size of the round key space. But unfortunately, this attack strategy is not applied to stream cipher in general. Because in the case of storing cipher, we cannot add key recovery part after the characteristics. So cube attack is uh, so more familiar to the analysis of the stream cipher because in the case of cube attack, we recover the secret key from the, uh, from the sum of the corresponding output text. And in other words, so cube attack recovers the secret key from uh, high order differential characteristics directory. But the most significant, most drawback part of the cube attack is uh, this is experimental attack. So this means we first regard stream cipher as black box polynomials, and uh, we uh, so we evaluate this black box polynomial experimentally and evaluate uh, the sum of value. So in so in this case. As the size of cube bits, this means the size of active bits is limited to the experimental range, for example, 30 or 40. So, but uh, in theoretical range, we can use more number of cube bits. So in such case, we, in many cases, we can attack more number of rounds. So in my talk, I propose cube attacks on non-black box polynomials. So this means, so we never uh, regard stream cipher as a black box. So we perfectly analyze uh, the structure of stream cipher and uh, how to uh, realize cube attack in this situation. So as a result, we explain the best attack on Trivium, Grain, and Acorn in the context of the key recovery attack. So how do we get this result? So we use division property. So division property is uh, proposed, was proposed at Euroclip 2050, and this is a tool to find integral distinguisher on block cipher. So as far as my knowledge, so the division property is only applied to block cipher, so I think this is the first application of the division property to stream cipher. So, but if we think uh, so the key, only key initialization part of the stream cipher, this structure is very similar to the block cipher. So if we want to evaluate zero-sum integral distinguisher of stream cipher, uh, this application is trivial. But so key recovery is non-trivial, so I want to propose how to recover the secret key. So to realize the 
key recovery path, key recovery attack. So I explain what the division property can do. And so I propose a new how to use the division property. As a result, uh, we can get uh, secret key variables that are not involved to the super poly. And finally, the, from this knowledge, we can recover the secret key. OK, so let's start the main topic. So now, let's consider the stream cipher. So in, the, in this, as like this picture, so the input is two value, x and v. And x is n bit secret variables. And v is n bit public variables. And they apply the stream cipher. And z is the uh, first bit of the key stream. In such case, we regard stream cipher as one Boolean function from n plus n bits to one bit. So now, so we apply the cube attack. So in the, in the cube attack, we first prepare cube index i. And uh, so i is uh, index i1 to ii, and uh, this red part is active bit. And the other part is inactive. Then we compute the sum of the cube of the uh, first bit of the key string. And ci is a set of two to the i values where vi is active. So in this case, so Boolean function f is decomposed into like this, and ti is this uh, monomial. So in such case, the, if the sum of the cube, so we get uh, pi x v, and so attacker recovers the secret variables x by analyzing this pi x, this Boolean function. And in the tech, in the cube attack, we call pi super poly. But so f is a stream cipher, and stream cipher is very complicated structure. So it is very difficult to decompose Boolean function f into like this. So previous cube attack uses experimental approach. So now we want to recover the algebraic normal form of the super poly. So we assume super poly is linear function. And we compute uh, so the sum of cube for a randomly chosen x. And so check linearity test uh, in many times. If uh, so linearity tests are always uh, pass, so if there, this ANF of the super poly is almost maybe linear Boolean function. So if the super poly is a linear function, we can recover the algebraic normal form of the super poly, and finally we can recover the secret key. But in this approach, so in the second uh, phase, so we have to sum of the cube. So if the size of cube is uh, for example, 40. So it is very difficult to compute uh, this uh, variation in practical time. So the, in previous cube attack, this, it is an experimental attack. So I combat this experimental attack to theoretical attack. And so for the theoretical attack, we use the division property to analyze algebraic normal form. Previous attack. So algebraic normal form is analyzed by experimentally using linearity test, but we analyze the algebraic normal form by using division property. So division property was proposed at Eurocrypt 2050, and so it is a tool to find the integral distinction, and the definition is like this. So it's a little complicated, so, so I skip this uh, definition. So the most important part is division trade. So, so similar to differential characteristic and linear characteristics, so there is also division property characteristics. So if we have k0 is division property, and the propagation rule, we get k1, ki, blah, 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 kr. So if uh, so, uh, the trade k from k0 to kr, satisfying propagation rule, of the division property, we call this trade is division trade. So the most important part is 
if there is not division trail from K0 to EJ means a unit vector, in such case, the J speed of the cipher text is always balanced. So, but this uh, variation is in many cases very so difficult. Uh, so in practical time, so but AJ Crypt last year, Sean proposed a new method uh, to for the variation of the propagation characteristic of the division property. So he used uh, CP-based solvers. So for example, MLP and SAS SMT and constraint programming. So ask for uh, such solvers help, we can practically evaluate the division trial. So if the solver uh, answers this trail is infeasible, we know the j speed is balanced. In other words, so the if uh, so solver answers it's possible, it's feasible, so j speed is unknown. So we directly apply this technique to stream cipher and we get integral distinguisher, zero sum distinguisher. So now we get, we first prepare the division property for the chosen plane text and zero k and zero is uh, corresponding to the secret key and k is corresponding to the cube bit. So now we check division trail from zero k to one and if no division trail, we know the sum of uh, the sum of the output is always zero. But unfortunately, we cannot recover the secret key only by this approach. So to recover the secret key, so we propose a new application of the division property. So uh, we never use division property to find zero sum integral distinguisher so we, div division property is used to analyze NF coefficients. So we first evaluate the number of involved key bits, that of cube bits, and we can guarantee the upper bound of the time complexity to recover the NF of the superbody. So to understand this technique, we first explain the basic knowledge of algebraic normal form. So now F is a Boolean function, and this is the algebraic normal form. So a and AUF is uh, ANF coefficient. So of course, so that it's practically infeasible to analyze all ANF coefficients. Now we first decompose a Boolean function f in according to the vector k, such that x to the k is monomial. So in such case, we can decompose Boolean function like this. So now we know this part is algebraic normal form of the superpoly. Now, assuming there is not division trail from k to 1, so we know the sum of f is equal to superpoly is equal to this algebraic normal form, it's always zero for arbitrary x. In other words, we know algebraic normal form coefficients such that uh, u is greater than or equal to k is always zero. So this means by using the division property, we can know a and f coefficients uh, zero or not. So now we extend this idea to key recovery attack. Assuming there is not a division trail e, j, k to one, so previously this part is zero, but now we add unit vector j, e j. Then a u f is in there is if there is not such division trail, we know a n f coefficient such that u is greater than equal e j k is always zero. In such case, so we know super poly is like this, and uh, if u j is one, so from this uh, knowledge we know. A corresponding n coefficient is always zero, so this uh, polynomial is equal to this polynomial. But now u j is always zero. This means x j is independent from super poly. So this is a summary of the result. So now we get we first prepare the corresponding division property e j k and check division trait. 
if there is no division trail, we know xj is not involved to the superpoly. So by repeating this procedure, this means we repeat E1 to En, and we know which secret variables are involved to the superpoly. So now we explain attack, attack strategy. So attack strategy consists of three parts, a variation offline and online phase. So of course, so previous, uh, so previous cube attack analyzes up to offline phase, but our attack uh, is practical up to a variation phase. So offline phase is only guaranteed uh, from the upper bound of the time complexity. So this is a variation phase. So first, we decide the position of active bits i and prepare the set j is empty set. And we check the division trail e from ejk to 1. And if uh, there is such trail, so this index j is inserted into the set j. If uh, there is no such trail, so we uh, don't insert. So finally, we know the set j. And uh, this set uh, contains bits that may be involved to the superpoly. Next, so offline phase, we prepare, we decide initial IVV randomly and repeat the set of chosen IVs by flipping bits in active bits and uh, compute the sum. So, but we know uh, the secret variable, only j bit, the size of j bit secret variables are involved. So we, so as a, as a, so n minus the size of j bits are not involved. So we can perfectly compute and store the table of the sum of cube uh, with time complexity the two to the i plus j. So if uh, the size of cube plus the size of involved secret variables is smaller than the security level. So offline phase is uh, so faster than exhaust search. And finally, we try online, we recover the secret variables in there. So access encryption oracle and compute this sum. And we check, uh, the, we, uh, we compare the, this sum value from the sum value in online phase. Uh, and uh, if uh, this sum value is different, uh, the guest uh, secret variables are incorrect. So the data complexity is 2 to the i. So now we apply this idea to stream cipher Trivium. So Trivium has this type of structure. And so secret key is 80 bit and initialization vector is 80 bit. And secret key is inserted into this path and IV is inserted into this part. So the number of rounds of the tree beam is uh, 1,152 rounds. So first, uh, to verify our idea experimentally, so we try uh, small cube sites. So in this, in this example, uh, sorry, the number of active IV is 10. So we choose uh, this 10 bit, these 10 bits uh, active IVs. In such case, so we know these five bits are involved to the secret key by variating the propagation of the division property. As a result, we know we attack five, nine, one round. So the time complexity is uh, two to the so one, two, uh, two to the uh, 30 time complexity. Okay. So in this case, so if we choose this IV, so initially, so the superpoly is like this. And if we use this IV, superpoly is like this. If we use this IV, superpoly is like this. So in this case, these two superpoly is not balanced function. But the bottom one is balanced function, so we can recover the secret key. We can recover the one bit of secret key information by using this uh, IP. So now we try the theoretical variation. So the most interesting result is this part. So if we choose number of active IVs is 72, and this is an uh, active index. 
In this case, the number of involved keys is only five. So we can attack this uh, tri trivium with reduced number of round H32 uh, as 2 to the 77. Of course, the uh, exhaustive search is a 2 to the 18. Okay, so next, finally, I explain uh, the other applications. So I also apply this technique to grain 1 to 8 A and uh, A comb. So grain 1 to 8 was already broken by the dynamic cube attack, but grain 1 to 8 A was have been survived. So uh, previous best attack is 177 rounds, and it's only distinguished. But so our attack uh, reaches 183 rounds, and it's possible to recover the secret key. And in the case of ACOM, so this is uh, one of the third round is a candidate. So previous cube attack is 477 rounds, but our attack breaks 704 rounds. So finally, I conclude my talk. So I propose cube attacks on non-black box polynomials. So I propose a new method to how to use the division property. So previously, division property is a simple tool to find, to detect integral distinguisher. But so in this, from this paper, in this paper, I use the division property to analyze ANF coefficients. So in this approach, so the cryptographer only creating MLP model for the division property. And so evaluation is, well, evaluation was done from the MLP solvers. So the cost is very small. And so it is very easy to apply this technique to various stream server. So and so division property is more practical than experimental approach. So we can evaluate cube attack even if the size of cube is a theoretical range. So for example, so in the case of best attack on Trebium, we use a 72 bit uh, cube bit. So it is practically infeasible to check uh, such huge cube experimentally in now. So, but we can uh, so predict the security of the trade beam in future. So, thank you very much.